what's up? This is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. Now, who's ready for some fighting words? In this video, I want to talk about Ryan Garcia. And this is basically my plea to say, call the fight off. Really quick, if you like the videos, please take the time. Subscribe to the channel. It just takes one click. And if you could, tell a friend. Circulate the videos. Get the subscribers up. Get the likes up. Do whatever you can. Hit that like button, please. It does help. It does support. And it does show love for this channel. Now, without further ado, let's jump into this video. Um, call the fight off. This is what I don't like about boxing. Let's see. Ryan Garcia is basically entering into Kanye West territory right now of randomness, weirdness, and crazy. <laughs> all right. It's all starting to jumble together. Not a good territory. Um, it's funny at first and people ha 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 and they laugh and everything like that. And then it turns into something serious. Now, if, if people are saying that he has an addiction with alcohol, okay, that's nothing to laugh at. Maybe some people, he says he smokes weed. Well, some people can't hold, you know, some people can't, it, it becomes an addiction to some people. And for some people, it's just a casual thing. And you don't know where he lies. Um, I can tell you the erratic behavior would suggest something different. Um, now, I can't say that there's something more heavy than those two substances. Nonetheless, um, that can put you in serious harm, you know, or, or put you in harm's way or put you around people that don't necessarily have your best interests at heart. Uh, call the fight off, but no, because of money. Because of money, this fight will continue. When Devin Haney wins, he won't get the credit. He's not gonna get credit for this fight. Why? Because Ryan Garcia is unhinged. Ryan Garcia is not dealing with a full deck right now. Ryan Garcia is, in order for you to fight and a, in a, be effective while fighting, you have to be able to focus and, 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 and just have tunnel vision. And right now, we're seeing that Ryan Garcia does not have tunnel vision. Ryan Garcia is all over the place. That's mentally, and I also think a little physically as well. Um, yeah, he says he's training every day. But again, you look at Jer Derek James, and he was cracking up when Devin Haney said, hey, what are you guys working on? Bill Haney follows up, hey, what are you guys working on? And all you get from, from uh, Derek James is laughter and a whole lot of teeth because he knew he had no answer. He knew he, he didn't have a reply for the Haney's. So please call the fight, fight off because Devin Haney's not going to get any any kind of semblance of a perspective off this fight only it's just going to be lucrative tank already took uh ryan's his o away so there you have it right there and you know ryan doesn't have a belt or anything like that so it's just like well, okay what do you get from this well you get a whole lot of money that's what you get from this uh let's see why is a fight with devin haney so dangerous in this particular case the fight with Devin Haney is dangerous because Devin Haney doesn't have the firepower to put Ryan Garcia away. That's what makes this dangerous. He doesn't have what it takes to knock a guy out with one punch. He doesn't have what it takes to knock a guy out in the first round. Regardless of that stupid little bet that they made, which more than likely will not be coming true, I am 98% sure that's not going to happen. But he doesn't have the firepower to put him away. So why is that dangerous? Well, it's dangerous for Ryan Garcia, and I'll tell you why. Because he will continue to take punishment round after round. And somebody's already, and I am using the word unhinged, he's going to get beat up, and he's going to get publicly embarrassed. And there's no way for him to squirm out of this like he did in the tank fight. I do believe he quit in the tank fight. Well, there's no way he can do that with Devin Haney, because everybody and their mother knows that Devin Haney doesn't hit very hard. So he's going to have to stay there and take the beating. Like, reach his progress. Devin, uh, Ryan Garcia is going to have to stay there and just receive a beating for 12 rounds straight. And there's nothing he can do about it. Because if he takes a knee, we all know Devin's not packing enough firepower to put you down on a knee. He's certainly not packing enough firepower to lay you out flat or cold. Not going to happen. So, uh, listen, Ryan's so-called loving family, wh where are they? Because to me, they seem to be no help. His brother has openly and publicly said, I don't know that guy. I walked in with him, but I don't know that guy. 
Like, he's basically just turned his back on him and said, listen, I don't know the guy. I, I don't want anything to do with this guy. Love the dude. Don't want anything to do with him, though. The, whatever he does, that's not on me. That's that's his brother. Uh, let's see. His dad, honestly, wants this fight. Why? Must be the money. Must be the money, right? Because that's the only thing that... that if, if you Listen, now I'm just going to appeal to any parent. I'm not a parent, but I'm going to appeal to any type of parent, especially a father. If you're a loving dad, you would say, I want the best for my son. Right now, the best for my son is not to be going up against this kid who is on an absolute tear and an absolute rise in the sport of boxing. He's on his A game. He's not a drinker or a smoker or any of that stuff. He's not. He's highly dedicated to his craft. That's the wrong individual to be placing my son in there with because my son is not 100%, not mentally, not physically. He doesn't train 100%, not mentally, not physically. It was Canelo who said, you don't even train. You hit the bag, you make a video from it, and then you leave. You're probably there one or two hours in the gym. You don't even train. We're talking about the quote unquote, and I do mean very loosely, quote unquote, face of boxing saying, I'm making hundreds of millions of dollars every time I fight. And I'm in here busting my butt from sun up to sundown. And you come in here for one or two hours, hit a bag and possibly hit some mitts, no sparring, and then run out of here. That's not the type of person that's going to beat Devin Haney on no day. Now, yes, Ryan Garcia does have an equalizer, but you still need coordination to equalize who you're trying to equalize. And at this stage... Looking at how he's conducting himself, I would suggest he doesn't have it. Um, you have Ryan Garcia's mother, who's basically now the female version of Bill Haney. Like, she's all over these press conferences. She's screaming and yelling, and she's, you know, again, we're selling this fight. We're selling this fight. Why? Because of the money. We're selling this fight. That's why. It's because of the money. We're going to sell this fight. And even if we have to sacrifice our own son <laughs> on... On this, on this altar right here, for the money, we will do so. We will do so, happily. And then we'll justify and say, well, he never has to fight again. He'll never have to fight again. So, yes, it, it's, a, it's, a, yes it's a sacrifice, but it, it's, it, it's the type of sacrifice that kind of keeps on giving. Because he'll never have to go through this again. And maybe Ryan Garcia can stick with his, his rap career or whatever the heck he called that type of music. So, let's see. Um... Oscar's no help. Oscar's in the back laughing. Oscar's laughing at everything. Oscar is only thinking about the dollar signs. Oscar's only thinking about Golden Boy is on top. That's all Oscar's thinking about right now. And it's sad because he, uh, contrary to what we see of Oscar De La Hoya today, Oscar De La Hoya was the man at one point. I mean, an absolute amazing boxer. The, one of the best jabs you'll ever see. Great footwork, coordination, combination, speed power. He was the man. And this Oscar that we see in latter years is nothing like that honorable guy that we used to see in the ring. And clearly he's not going to appeal to a younger fighter. And he knows who Ryan Garcia is because he's once been Ryan Garcia. And he could steer and guide him properly, but he's not doing so. He's laughing in the background and he knows he's going to rake it all in. That's where we're at with that, with Rob, with Oscar De La Hoya. So who do we appeal to? I suppose the only appeal is to b -Hop. Bernard Hopkins, also quite an amazing fighter, a very long career. Um, and typically is the only person in Golden Boy who has any sense of, or, or thought of reason coming out of his mouth. I know him and, him and Ryan had their little tit and tat and all that, but maybe he can appeal to him. Or the question is, is he appealing to him? Or let's go deeper. Does he want to appeal to him because of the money? Nobody's appealing to this kid. Nobody's appealing to him. Um, let's see. This is sad. Let me ask you a question. How many times have you seen a car accident, but you didn't slow down to help? You slowed down to watch. This is what I'm equating this fight to. <clears throat> A car accident 
that people are slowing down, they're rolling down their windows, and they're, they're, they're peeking out, but nobody's stopping. Nobody's stepping out of their vehicles to help. Is anybody okay? Is, it, well, is everybody okay? Uh, can I help you in any way? Can I assist you? Can I call somebody? Nobody's doing that. They're just slowing down and they're watching. They're, they're, they're just watching. That's all they're doing because it's entertainment. It's entertainment. Here's the thing. Watching for entertainment will play out. Ryan will eventually crash. Ryan's going too fast right now. Ryan's already left the club. And he had a little too much. And nobody t thought to take his keys. Nobody thought to get him an Uber. There's a tree out there somewhere. A stop sign, a red light, somewhere. And it could be over sooner than we think. So that's why I'm appealing with this video, and I hope it circulates to stop the fight.